Hello, Cancer. This is uh, Soul Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Cancer, this is going to be your uh, general focus reading for the week of April 11th through the 17th, 2016. Okay, so let's get right into uh, the messages for Cancer. Okay, um, some Cancers that I'm reading for uh, will deal with the energy of the Ten of Cups in the upright position. So now this is a good card to have in an upright. So it's all about uh, feeling good emotionally, you know, with family, friends, uh, in terms of relationships. Uh, actually, uh, there may be wedding inv invites going out. Um, could be cancer getting married to someone uh, either in the month of April or some sort of May. Um, nuptials going on. Uh, <clears throat> but the emphasis that I'm getting is that there may be wedding invites to cancer uh, to intend to attend someone's wedding. This could be in the family, a close friend. Um, but I do see a lot of um, happiness and emotional fulfillment um, related to other people. So this is a general reading. So, you know, apply that to relationships, family situations, friendships, uh, even uh, people that you work with in your work environment. So that's for some cancers that I'm reading for, because as I did a quick uh <clears throat> overview of the remaining cards that show up in your spread now some cancers will feel that energy the other cancers here uh your <clears throat> recent past yesterday going back to two weeks you have the king of swords so there was a lot of determination for some cancers um and having to make a decision excuse me it's in the passing position so i'm getting the emphasis that something was brought to cancers in terms of having to make a decision related to an actual person that may have been an air sign again aquarius uh libra gemini male or female now this does not necessarily have to be a relationship but it could be uh it could be something that you had to make a, a decision about that um involved an air sign that was a family member a co-worker or some other situation that was close or significant to you but you made a decision uh it's whatever decision you arrived at it's brought some sort of clarity uh so it was a clearing away the swords always represents especially when they get to the court cards um the higher court cards and it's a clearing of energy so cutting away the old gaining clarity once you've done the cutting away and then new energy comes your way but i'm getting the emphasis that it was related to an actual person and having to make a decision um with this individual or about this individual good or bad i'm just getting that there was some sort of determination so uh, like I said, apply the messages to whatever is close or significant to you. Now, for the other cancers that I'm reading for, um, you may have the potential of dealing with this Ten of Swords. I'm not, I don't like the Ten of Swords. I'm sorry, uh, but it did show up in your reading in the middle of the week. So some of you are maybe going into the week or are feeling in the middle of the week oppressed because you're dealing with a lot of mental shit and conflicts. Um, you know, there's the emphasis of being uh, betrayed by someone close to you this could be a friend this could be someone in a relationship again i'm getting the energy of air signs so some cancers may be dealing with or in a relationship with uh gemini libra or aquarius male or female but this uh relationship could be um oppressive to you or it's just bringing in a lot of stress and mental uh conflicts also the tens represent a clearing of energy. So if some of you cancers experience this energy in the mid midweek, just know it's not going to um, be something that's ongoing. But I do have to emphasize that not only did I get the ten of swords for you, I did get the nine of swords as well. So some cancers are going to be dealing with a lot of conflicting stuff. Now the nine shows up um, next to the ten as a direct message that is, is related to a possible or personal close friendship someone betrays the cancer someone um deceives and lies to the cancer and this whole energy is bringing up some sort of fearful or uh anxiety for the cancer this is the tail end of the week those are for the cancers that I'm speaking of that have the potential of being betrayed by a close personal friend 
and or it could be related to someone being, you know, someone betraying you in terms of the family. It could relate to the reason why I'm giving you all these variables because it's a general reading. So, like I said, whatever I'm giving you, you have to apply it to whatever is close or significant to you. So this ten of swords and the nine of swords relate to being betrayed and lied to and deceived by someone close to you. Friendship, relationship, someone at the job. It could be anything. OK, that which brings in a lot of conflict, anger, stress, mental stress for the cancer and. There's a lot of dishonesty here with this energy. So maybe you were friends or were, maybe you thought you were friends with someone. If it's a situation that I'm picking up that a friend lies to you or betrays you and you discover that, you know, they either told lies to you or you discover something about them that wasn't the truth. That's the honesty thing, uh, the distrust that I'm picking up related to the Ten of Swords. So this is real heavy energy for some cancers. Um, you know, when you have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords in a spread and it's, they're both right next to each other, that's a lot of it's a lot of stuff. And then you have the King of Swords. So it's a lot of mental uh, agility going on for cancers this upcoming week now i still won't change what i said about some of the cancers having to either be invited to a wedding or you know finding some sort of uh, emotional happiness or um you know within the home or within the relationship or friendship or you know could be uh the job or whatever but uh <clears throat> the potential energy for some to deal with conflict and stuff possibly related to air signs okay so the that's your reading and the energy of oracle card that i have selected for you cancer is um door to personal healing and happiness so this is most appropriate for what i just read for any of you who are um this card comes through for any of you who are dealing with you know past um romantic issues or you know uh it can go as far as addictions uh it comes through to let you know that you're going through some sort of healing phase. Okay. And that you are someone who is deserving of happiness. So whatever you've dealt with and for the ones that I just read about possible deception, lies and betrayals this week, you have this card here to support you that whatever you go through or whatever comes your way, you're going to heal and you're going to come out on top and achieve some sort of happiness. So what does happen or what does occur, don't let it consume you is the message from me. OK, because you will survive anything that is thrown at you. All right. Because cancers are survivors. All right. That's your reading cancer. Um, I want to thank you um, for visiting my channel. Uh, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, I wish you all love and light. Take care, Cancer. Bye.